Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. Trust you guys have been absolutely amazing this week and wow, what a amazing volatility there is in the, in the markets the last couple of weeks. Uh, so this is exactly what we expected guys. I'll just take a look at the SPY. I did draw back here that most likely we would get a quick push up to fill this gap and then a trade lower. I was expecting us to trade down to the 200 simple moving average on the daily and that could still happen. Although by the looks of this beautiful looking hammer candle, which is uh, relative to these lows, these two lows back here, this low here, um, and these lows and this high, this could potentially double bottom and bounce out of here. I'm not overly bearish on the market. This dip actually has been expected for some time. And I, I did actually post, if you guys do follow me on TradingView, I did post this idea um, quite a while back. Actually, I, my first idea I post back in May, what I expected to happen on the SPY. So I'll just touch on that first to just kind of explain what I feel is happening. Um, so where we are currently right now is about mid August, right? And I did say that most likely we would have a pullback at the start, at the end of July, start of August, we would have a pullback roughly to about the 200. And I said that we would have a little lower low and then a, a little push up and then a, another push a little bit lower. That is around 281.88. That was where I expected us to probably consolidate sideways and then slowly grind higher and bounce you know, over the next couple of months and then create some new all time highs. From here, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'd probably just wait and see. Um, that was what I posted back here in May 16th. But more recently, I actually posted on the 13th of July. I said that most likely we would get a pullback on the 31st and the 1st of August. So if I just push play here, uh, this is basically what happened. So we did have a little bit more of a pullback. I was actually expecting this and where we are right now. So that 281.80 level, if I just bring my cursor to 281.80, which is about, about here somewhere right there. This was where I was saying that most likely we would consolidate and bounce roughly, roughly about here. So right now, it makes a lot of sense that we are consolidating and chopping around sideways here. If we are going to bounce, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, and what I do expect, if we do get a push lower, I'd probably expect something of this juncture right here. So if I just push this about here, that's most likely what I would expect to happen if we do trade lower. I do expect us to come down to the 200 if we get a push lower um, and then most likely a trade higher creating this beautiful little inverted head and shoulders kind of pattern and then a little bit of a trade higher. There is a lot of news in the markets. I know um, on the ASX there was over $60 billion wiped um, but that's just the ES, uh, the, the, sorry, the, the SPY. I did make a trade on the ES, on the E-minis last night, uh, just for a quick 0.6R gain, pretty early in the piece, roughly around here. So it was just a buy low, sell high action. Uh, so that was my 0.6R gain. And I did take one other trade on Walmart. I did fade this trade as it was a beautiful, beautiful retest gap. And uh, this just was a very big gap for Walmart. So I did take this bearish at open. I'll uh, just have a quick look at the, DA, the Dow Jones, the DIA. Right now, we're currently at the 200 on the daily chart. If we just take a look at the weekly. You know, if we did come down a little bit lower, guys, like I said, we most likely would probably bounce off the 100. And if you take a look at the Dow Jones futures, we've already touched... We've already touched the uh, 100 on the weekly chart already. So we are getting some long lower wicks here. So there is some buying pressure building. Um, and right now on the daily on the daily chart, we are looking to see a little bit more of a positive, positive bounce. 
um, and forming a nice little double bottom here. So that does look absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at some stocks. Here's MU, and I did speak about this back here, saying we are probably going to coil and bounce. Still building that pressure, guys. Um, this was a uh, pretty much just a little bullish fake out. Everyone jumped on bullish, and then markets tanked the next day. Um, but we are still here. Does still look good for a long. We do. We are getting some nice lower wicks here. Some building up some. Uh, building up some buying pressure here. So if you are looking to go long, uh, long term on MU, it does look absolutely amazing. Here's Amazon ticket symbol AMZN. And I mean, we're right at the 200, beautiful buying location right here. And if we just take a look at the weekly chart, you know, we're at this beautiful support, support resistance level right here. So the fact that we are pausing here, makes a ton of sense and we are just in line with the, the majority of the markets and we could very well just double bottom and bounce on right out of here so keep your eyes on amzn guys if we if the markets do decide to bounce get ready for your longs here's apple and apple still consolidating in this huge in this huge uh, wedge right now we do have a resistance up at 215 dollars 67 um, based on this support back here, this resistance, this high, and obviously this high here. So when we did gap up over earnings, that was a very easy fade. Um, if, if Apple does come down a little bit lower, uh, I would definitely be looking to buy either off the 200 or off this lower, this lower band trend line um, at around $185. So that's, that's Apple. Here's Tesla and Tesla is looking absolutely amazing right now. Oops. Um, so with Tesla guys, if you if you were to ask me where I think it's going, um, I'll just draw some quick Fibonacci's here. So from the high swing high to swing low, we are currently at the 618. We did come down to the 618 and bounce off this support level right here. So realistically, if we don't bounce uh, in the next few days, uh, then most likely we'll come back down to the lows. Um, but most likely we will get a little bit of choppiness, a little bit of consolidation, and then probably mosey on out of here on Tesla. But Tesla does look good. It is building a bit of pressure. I know there's some sellers coming in. There was some volume yesterday. Just keep an eye on this 618 level at 211. Um, it is a very significant level. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled. If we do start to break lower, probably hold off on the longs until we create some new lower lows. Here's Square, and Square is looking quite good, to be honest. If we just take a look at the weekly chart, we did come back down to the 100 on the, on the weekly chart, and we still haven't closed below the 100. Um, I have got a support here at 59.86. That's this horizontal trend line right here. And realistically if we did break this low i wouldn't be i'd probably look to protect the the, the shares that you do have um and i'd probably but obviously if you do if you do look to protect you would be looking to take profits um probably down here at 45 if it did get there and then look to go maybe look to average down or look to go long there um but sq does look really good to bounce at this stage we did get a nice uh, we did get a nice high wave candle on the daily. Cute little, cute little um, doji candle uh, today. Uh, and realistically, we could just probably just bounce around here. Pretty much what we did here, guys, I would expect. If I just draw, I'll just copy and paste this here. Um, if we did chop around here this would kind of be look what what it would look like before we start to go higher although this is a nice little double bottom with a lower low just like we had here double bottom with a lower low and then we just launched on out of here so if we did launch on out of here i would not be surprised at all so that's square and already spoke about walmart and the day trade here's netflix and Netflix is just looking absolutely glorious right now. There is some volume coming in, but we did have a long lower shadow. And we have closed this gap back here 
in the start of uh, the start of January. Um, now, if you are looking at this on a longer term scale, if I just bring this onto the weekly chart, you know, we did have this double bottom, right? And this is a long retest. Okay, so this is the retest of the neckline. So this this level that we're at right now is a very key level to uh, to bounce and continue higher. Um, if I just go back to the daily chart, oops, sorry, go back to the daily. Sorry, um, go back to the daily chart. We are showing some buying pressure as you can see right now. And if I just draw some quick fib lines from the lights from the swing high to the swing low. Uh, swing low to swing high, you can see we are also at the 618 retracement level at 289.96. So guys, if if Netflix is going to bounce, it really has to, it realistically has to bounce around this level. Um, otherwise, we will start to see some low lows back down to you know back down to 260 and maybe 240. Um, but at that point, that would be when the market would most likely roll over. But I don't really see some huge signs of that happening at this current at this current moment, as everything has been in accordance with my plan uh, from a few months ago. So take a look at the Aussie markets. Here's your lords. So here's the big sell-off that we had, guys. Um, obviously, we do look a little bit bearish here, but uh, as Warren Buffett says. You know, be fearful, when, be, be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Uh, so right now we are creating a nice little cute little double bottom. And if we just take a look at the weekly chart, I'll bring on the short term moving averages. We could potentially pull back down to the 50. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we did, but we are right now at this this high right here. So if we do start to consolidate here and then bounce, that also would be a very nice dip buy opportunity on the All Lords. Here's ticker symbol APT after pay on the daily chart. I'll just bring up the long-term moving averages. Now I did say, I have been saying for a while that we are most likely gonna chop around here. So if you are buying or maybe short-term swing trading, just look to buy as low as you can. This is a really great stock to buy low, sell high. So anywhere around 21 you know, or $20 would be a really nice buying location, um, even to hold long-term. But if you are looking to just do some short-term swing trading, this is a very good uh, opportunity to buy low, sell high. Um, here's APX. A lot of people very happy about this pullback. Um, we are coming into the 200 on the daily very, very slowly. Uh, that is at 21.13, is in, which is also in line with this, with this gap right here. So if we do come down to the 200, I do expect us to bounce. Um, although on the weekly chart, uh, you know, we are still looking a little bit weak. So probably not not looking to buy just yet, um, but keep your eyes peeled on a bounce off the 200. Uh, does look good long term. Here's Commonwealth Bank, CBA. And if you're looking to buy Commonwealth Bank long term, uh, right here is your time to buy. We are at the 200 simple moving average on the daily. We have crossed over here with the 100 and the 200. We are also um, have, you know, this is a gap. You know, this was a gap and go here. Here is the big retest. We have closed the gap. I mean, all signs are that this could potentially uh, buy the dip and then go higher. Um, not a lot to say guys really about CBA, although this is a very, good buying location. I mean, we have had a very decent pullback from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we have pulled back, you know, just over, just over 10% or 11%. So if you are looking to buy long-term, uh, this is definitely a good buying location. If you take a look at the weekly chart, oh, sorry, if you take a look at the monthly chart, um, if you wanted to wait a little bit longer, we could potentially come down to we could potentially come down to the 100, and that would be at 72.08. Uh, that has been a very good buying a buying location in the past, um, and we have bounced off the 100 before. That's CBA. Here's ANZ and another one looking at looking at the long-term moving averages on the monthly chart. If you were looking to buy this long-term, the 200 on the monthly chart is coming 
very, very close. Um, so even if you did look to buy here on, on the monthly, long term, definitely looks like a beautiful trend. Um, and take a look at the daily charts. We are at a beautiful support level right here. And we are showing a little bit of buying pressure coming in. And this was also a retest gap two days ago, the black candle gapping down. So most likely we will gap down, retest these lows and maybe just chop around and mosey on higher. That's ANZ and here's Altium, ticker symbol ALU, another one just like APT guys. If you're looking for something to, for your short term swing trades, here is a great stock to buy low, sell high. Um, $30, really good level to buy, anywhere between $30, $31 and then just obviously Pretty much, you, it's going to be in this range for a little while, but it'll probably stay between $30 and $34 for quite some time. Um, if we just take a look at the weekly chart, yeah, most likely we're going to have this 100 come up and this will just chop around sideways like it did back here in 2018 and then slowly grind higher in 2020. Uh, all right, that's ALU. And last one, BHP, beautiful pullback, obviously pulling back with the iron ore futures. Um, and right now we have closed below, uh, right now we have closed below the 200 on the daily chart. Uh, bring up the weekly chart. If we were gonna pull back a lot further, 100 would be a very long-term dip buying opportunity, but even on the daily chart, this is still a very nice time to go long as this is a you know, support resistance level right here. So BHP, just having a bit of a pullback with the entire markets, obviously with the trade war going on, uh, all these iron ore future, uh, all these iron ore companies will get affected. Um, but we have pulled back a, you know, a very nice 13, 14%. So guys, it's like a winter sale. Come get them while it's cheap. Um, BHP looking really, really good. Speaking of commodities, here's crude oil and crude oil just looking absolutely fantastic. Um, we did have a very nice dip buying opportunity back here. Oops, uh, right back here off these lows, off these lows here and here. Um, we have been speaking about this for a while that it was gonna come down to this level. So if you did capitalize on this little dip buying opportunity, then well done to you. Uh, this was a very nice little bullish flag and right now we are starting to go higher. So I do expect oil to continue higher and my target would be around the 100. The, the, there will be some resistance obviously at the 200, but my target is definitely the 100, around $58. 70, uh, gold, here's gold, uh, that beautiful yellow shiny thing. Um, yeah, looking really, really good. Still have my resistance here at 1549. Long term, it definitely will hit this target. I have been saying that most likely if we close above this level, we will very quickly come up here. And we are just obviously being a little bit slow with the markets looking like they're going to start to bounce um, and the dollar looking a little bit stronger. So gold, still am expecting a resistance at 1549. So if you are looking to take profits, there would be a good time to maybe you know if you've got some gold if you've got some stocks in some gold companies maybe up there maybe look to sell some covered calls um, or at least get into some collars uh, for for long term and lock in some gains. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar, AUD USD, and I have said for a while that most likely we will consolidate here. I do expect us to go lower eventually, but if you are looking for a, all the Forex traders out there, if you are looking for a uh, opportunity on the Aussie dollar, just go into the, just go into the 15 minute on the Aussie. And uh, here's a very beautiful channel to play, uh, just a buy low, you know, buy low, sell high, right here, buy low, sell high, very good time. Uh, to kind of capitalize on these little small consolidation channels. That's all I've got for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another free real life stock review. If you do have any tickers you want me to review, whether it's Forex, futures, commodities, um, or US stock the US stock market or the, Auss or the Aussie market, happy to do so. Leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you will get alerted and join our Facebook group. 
I will leave a link in the description below if you haven't done already. And until next time, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.